on the floor talking with Andrea Brokenshire, who has been on the quilt show not once, but twice. And she's here standing with her first place winner, Ice Lilies. Yes. Tell us, for those of us that don't know about your work, this is not appliqued, this isn't pieced, it is? This is a whole cloth painted quilt. So think of a painting Yes. that is then stitched to give it its so it starts dimension. out with as a white piece of silk, silk charmeuse. Bag. All right. And then it is painted. And then it is painted. Yes. And why do you use paint versus dye or some or adding appliques or any of the other things that there are, there's options. Right. I use paint because I can tint the paint. I can mix the paints to create the colors that I want to have. Whereas a dye, it's pretty much a one-shot deal. Now, so. Do you start with the background first and then add the elements in the foreground or do you start with the flowers and the leaves and then paint in the background? It depends, but for the most part I start with the focus point. So on this quilt I started with this flower and then I did this flower and then I did the leaves and then I painted the background. Painted the background. And so tell us about ice lilies, because you, you, you're known for doing lots of florals, but yes. this one is really special. This one's a special one to me. This is a, a stargazer lily from my mom's garden. And the background leaves is my great grandma's snowball bush. And I, what the reason why I made this quilt was for that. And what is that? This is the stem. I was really interested in creating the leaves and uh, the juxtaposition between a smooth leaf with a linear vein against a serrated leaf that was much darker. And I like the, the, contrast. Chain, the contrast of the two. So the flower is beautiful and I love it, but it's not really the reason why I made the quilt. I made it for the greenery and for the background of this piece. And so I'm assuming you take a lot of photographs. Yeah, I do. And so was this one plant or is it a flower from one photograph and a stem from this, another? This one is one photograph. Wow. But I have piecemeal different pieces, um, different photographs together. But this particular one, I liked everything about it. So I didn't change anything. I, and all the background, if you notice in here, if it's in the back, it's all done in this pebbled tone right here. And that's and all machines? In, in, on a domestic machine. On a domestic machine. machine. So it's all like free motion quilted domestic machine. But all of the back, if it, it dip, even if it's a leaf, if it's a background, it's done in this pebbled look. And anything <laughs> foreground that I wanted you to see, it's all in either straight stitching or vein work. So it's the detail, but anything in the back, so it would it would recede and kind of just be the prop. Right, because this is what the... you want everybody to notice. Right. right. So can we peek at the back a little you bit? You sure can. Okay, let me show, I'll do the side. I try to make the oh back look as gorgeous as the so front. so gorgeous. So you're not blending the color in the back. You want the color I want. I want it to look like a two-tone, a two-sided quilt. Yeah, and, and you want to show off how lovely your stitch work is as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's taken a lot of practice to get to this stage and right. when I first started making quilts and doing um, my quilting, they had busy backs. But there was a time I just said, okay, I'm just going to jump in and so now all the backs have a black Kona background and so and over time I'm adding more and more bobbin colors or background colors to create even more of the design. Interest. Yes well that's design. why you won the blue prize for yeah. first place so well, congratulations thank you. it's another stunning quilt. Thank you thank you very really, much. Really really pleased so if you're here at the show or you come able to see it make sure and stop yeah. by. And thank you for wanting to come and and hear about my quote absolutely and I, I appreciate it you guys are awesome yeah it's always great to learn how you put a quilt together okay absolutely. well great thank you all so much thank you thank you